few years ago, this verse became a key focus of my personal times with God. The quiet times that followed were wonderful and precious. I didn't come to God with a list of requests, but a desire just to be with him, to enjoy him. Around the same time, I was reading about stories of faith from the Second World War. I came across a book by Lieutenant General Sir William Dobby, entitled A Very Present Help. It was his tribute to the faithfulness of God, in which he shared about answered prayer from his years in active service. Documented answers to prayer often don't feature in the mainstream historical accounts or in the media coverage of the various anniversaries of key events. In 1940, against impossible odds, 338,000 British and French troops were evacuated from Dunkirk between the 26th of May to the 4th of June. Visiting Dover, I'd often felt this event was a true miracle in particular, the perfect weather. It was reading Dobby's account that led me to the discovery that King George VI called the nation to a day of prayer on the 26th of May, the first of seven national days of prayer during the course of the Second World War. But how is this relevant to the verse in hand? Eventually, I realized the title of Dobby's book is the first verse of Psalm 46, where we find the command, be still, and know that I am God, followed by God's declaration, I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. Being still releases us from striving in the busyness of life and makes space for God to meet with us and act in ways we cannot imagine, to really know that God is truly God in every circumstance of life. Being still isn't a passive act on our part, it's an act of humility, faith and trust in God and has a sense of handing over the reins to him for his will to be done. The men and women who founded MAF across the globe all served in the Second World War. It was during that time the idea to use aircraft for God's purposes began to grow. From the beginning, prayer was crucial in the life of MAF and continues to be so today, daily as teams across the world on the checklist for pilots before each flight and as individuals. Please pray for the work of MAF and the role we have in sharing God's love so that people of all nations will come to know and exalt him. Pray for our leaders that we would serve God in humility and make time to be still and listen for his guidance and inspiration and in decision making. God's plan cannot be improved upon. It's important we hear him well, trust him, and act in obedience.